All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So I want to do an update video on my Melcom 20x12 gazebo that I installed last year. It's now springtime. It doesn't look like spring. It looks like winter right now, but uh, we've had a ton of snow this winter. So I want to give an, I want to give kind of an update on how it's held up, some things I've learned, some things I want to share with you guys. I've had a lot of questions, too, from comments and emails. So I want to share some uh, answers to those questions and kind of give you an update on how it's held up. As you can tell here, it probably got about five inches overnight of snow. Once the snow warms up a little bit, the snow really just kind of sheets right off of the, uh, the roof. This roof is an uh, aluminum roof. It does uh, warm up really easily, so snow doesn't stay on it very long. Uh, about two hours ago, it was completely covered in snow, and now it just falls right off. So it does do a good job at that. We've had a lot of snow this summer, this winter, and it's held up really well. And there's been, there's been at times probably uh, 8 to 10 inches of really heavy snow on it. And it's been very, very good. You can see inside here. Inside, the, the snow or rain really doesn't leak through any of the roof or the paneling. And the none of the roof panels have really been damaged or misshapen by any of the weight of the snow. So it's really held up good. I was happy to see that that you can be under here and the snow or the rain that it's really not going to drip down into the gazebo. There is a gutter system here on these on each of these uh, posts on the sides. Rainwater will collect down and it will funnel down not on the insides but on the outsides of these posts. So it does have a gutter type system that works pretty well in like light to moderate rain and I, I found that that's worked pretty well. So it does keep the rain from just sheeting right off of the edge of the thing. It is kind of funneled down into these gutter systems. So that, that part works pretty well. This one, I'll leave a link to this down below in the description so you can kind of see, but there's this one actually comes in three colors. And I want to give you a close up so you can kind of see how, this is the brown color. So there's three colors. There's dark brown, brown, and then a wood color. This is the just brown. This is the color that I ordered. And it looks like it's a dark brown. So I don't know how dark the dark brown is, but I really like the look of this. It kind of matches, if you can see here, my house kind of has those browns, tans, darker browns. It matches well with my house. So the if you're looking for this same type of color, this is just going to be the brown. Now we have our hot tub underneath here, and this has worked great over the winter time. This has been a great spot for our hot tub. It's kept, it's kept the uh, weather off of it. It has these drapes that you can move across and close up. We've left them closed all year. I don't really like the look of when it's all closed. Like we were thinking, okay, when it's snowy, we'll close them all up and kind of be protected from the snow or the wind or anything. But it, I like the look when the gazebo is open versus closed. So we really didn't use those very much. One thing we're going to do this uh, once the weather warms up a little bit more is I want to spray this fabric material with like a UV protectant and waterproofing spray just to kind of help it last a little bit longer because I could see the weather kind of deteriorating this material and you know maybe ripping or tearing in the future so just to try to la make that last as long as possible also I love that there's, there's no maintenance to this because this is all like it's like a powder coated aluminum metal there's no maintenance there's no painting there's no staining like you had you would have to do with a wood one you don't have to worry about it rusting it's not it's aluminum so it's not going to rust so i think this is ideal for a climate like this that's going to get a gets a lot of snow a lot of rain and there's really no maintenance to it the only maintenance i was telling you about just keeping these curtains kind of sprayed with some stuff just to make sure they kind of hold up a little better some other feedback I wanted to share with you in the summertime. So we had this up like end of July. So we had it for all of August, the whole winter, the fall, uh, or the and the the winter, and then now it's springtime. In the summertime, when it's hot, when it's like say like 95, 100 degrees outside, you know the sun really beats down on this metal roof. And inside the gazebo, it almost feels hotter inside the gazebo than it does outside of it because it's almost it's almost like an oven in here. When this when the sun hits this, it just makes inside here hotter than it than it than if you're not underneath it so that's maybe the that's maybe the downfall to it and that's probably gonna be the same with any type of metal gazebo like this is it's just that that heat's just gonna radiate inside you're gonna fill it but it does provide shade so that, that it, there is some relief from the direct sunlight but you do feel a little more heat down here at the leg post there they are the anchors 
these anchors are included. There's three on each post. And I was wondering if I needed to paint these like a with some like rust paint just to make sure they don't rust. But it looks like they haven't rusted at all this over the last the fall and winter time. So I'm not going to need to do that. So it doesn't look like that's something I'm going to have to worry about are these rusting out, these anchors. But you do need to have these anchors in there. There's a, we've had some really strong winds this winter as well. And it's held up great. It hasn't moved, hasn't shifted. So really happy with how this gazebo is held up. We've we've used the hot tub a lot over the winter time, so it's been a great, great space. We're going to use it more when we get the pool open, use the seating area, as well as the hot tub. In addition to having this fabric curtain that will kind of block block out the view, you also it also has a like a mosquito netting, if you can see here that you can do. And the uh, there's two layers, so the outside layer is the uh, this tan fabric. And then the inside track is the mosquito netting. So you just do the mosquito. And that's probably the one we used the most this last summer when, because we get mosquitoes at nighttime, they seem to come out. We'd, we'd, clo we'd close it up. Uh, you can really just keep all the bugs out that you need to. And it'll still be open to airflow. Okay, guys, so this is just kind of a quick update, review, overview of how this has held up over this last nine months. It's held up great. We're really happy with it. Uh, we, we've used it a lot. It's come in handy, and it really looks great. It hasn't been weathered at all. It looks it looks fantastic. I love that there's no maintenance to it. Uh, the mosquito netting is great for it. So guys, see the link down below in the description. Again, this is the brown color. So there's three. Usually, I think there's three colors: dark brown, wood color, and this is the brown. And the brown really looks good. But guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.